There you go, dude. You ready for the intro? Do, do it for the intro, my boy. I think it's going to be fine. Are we recording? Oh, man. We are, we are now recording. What the fuck is up? What is going on, YouTube? Hope everybody and uh, Facebook. Hope y'all are having a wonderful evening. Uh, welcome to another Savage After Party. Per usual, we are getting savage. Um, we gonna actually talk about something that just the fuck happened, like right before Man, we started break, recording. Break down what the fuck just occurred. We gotta, at, we gotta wait until everybody gets in here. My name's Oshay. First of all, intro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get a little bit of the intro going. My name's Oshay. I'm, I'm from the Hasty Bros. One of your co-hosts here. Yeah, yeah, savage lifestyle out here. Y'all already know. You can have your if you don't know now, you know. Savage lifestyle. For, this is episode for seven, the, eight. For the record, yeah, it's, it's, I think four, seven. Episode four seven. seven. Yeah. By the my way, name's Ethan, by the way. Yep. By the way, my guy. Text towards you. It's not even on. Oh. No, it's good. Just text, toward, text <laughs> towards you. Oh, not yeah. top down. Do it alive. Not, we'll down. Do it live. We do it live, people. From the sideways. It's not top down. Oh, talk into the fucking Yeah, like, oh, I know it. I know it. You, you, you can hello, caress, hello. You could caress the hello. if you need to. No, we're, we're, we're in there. We're in there. Introduce yourself, my boy. So, my name's Ethan, for everyone that doesn't know. It's good to meet you. <laughs> Cheers. Salute. Go ahead, give it to the next one. Pass it along. Who we got, who we got next? Are you fucking kidding me right now? So Do serious. not pass Jen. Do not pass Jen. So freaking the queen super cereal. We got the Jen queen. over here. Miss Savage Queen herself. Queen savages. This is Bonka. Good evening. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, that is a concern I have. You better give him the mic. Yeah, I didn't want to risk it falling on a piece. It's actually not very short. It, it stretches Mike pretty J. good. Mike J. Okay. Salvi D. You know what I mean? Like Salvatore Dali. But it's Sal. Um, good old Sal. You know who it is? The big. How you done? Fucking Ryan. What the fuck was that? I'm the big, I'm the big how you doing? Uh, how you doing? The, the big, big how, how you doing? doing? How you doing? The big how you doing? I Brando. Talent, bro, if you're gonna talk about Italian, you gotta do it right, bro. I yeah, give, give me a good how you doing? Fuck. How you doing? My whole family's right. Like, hey, listen. Name Saboteur Joseph Napoli. How you fucking doing? How you fucking doing? How you fucking doing, huh? How you fucking doing? How you fucking doing, huh? So, no, no, no. He's not. He's not even here. I was gonna talk about this train thing. What's going on with this? No, no, the train thing. Let's let. Can we? Okay, guys. If we really want to get on this podcast right now, can we really please talk about the government? Just literally passed. Just literally passed. You have to talk. Saying that aliens are real. Have you heard about this? Yo. You know the funniest the funniest thing about it is I, like the the moment that the government the moment that the government announced that aliens existed most people are like nah you know what I don't know if they do now the government's talking about it and it might be a lie so so my thing is. is with this whole thing bro is that for as long as we've been kids and as long as we've been doing this shit how many people thought aliens was real Raise it, raise your hands right now. How many how many people thought oh, aliens were actually real? Raise your hands right now. It is statistically impossible that we are alone. Okay. But do you believe in at least some microbes, right? <laughs> infiltrating the government. <laughs> so like the uh, lizard people, on, wait, wait, the, lizard oh, people man, the reptilian Absolutely. race. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, uh, One at a time. Because now they know that we know. We're all in agreement that we know about them. So now that we know and they know that we know, they come fuck with us on a straight to straight level. Before they could do that because we were but in the you're gonna be, he's gonna be next. But and the funnier, the wilder part about it though, they claim that we've already, already had contact with them for the last like 50, 60 years. Yes, correct. Go ahead. But as a common people, we're not gonna know about it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Which leads to a better question: How the fuck is it that we made it to the uh, to the moon in '69? All right, real? check it out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, so. I'm a big believer that they desensitize society. Yeah. So they'll put out movies and TV shows, all that stuff, so that by the time you get introduced to the real thing, you're already indoctrinated to it. They don't tell you what, what happened. But, but here's the thing. I watched this I watched this little cartoon show, and it was talking about these these mushrooms that used to um, be the prominent species on Earth. 
yeah. which I'm not sure if you're all aware, but we share the most human DNA with a mushroom. And, and as uh, well as apes, apes as well. Don't forget about that. It's chimpanzees, not apes. Right, yes, sir. But, yes, but sir. Uh, so we share the most DNA with these uh, mushrooms. But they're saying that there's this whole species of mushrooms that live just underneath the Earth's mantle. Oh shit! That are sentient, in a sense. I'm not talking sentient in the sense like they walk, talk, and have civilization. Wait, but they're sentient in the sense that they can communicate able to and they have a hive mind. Other. They have a hive mind. Okay. Sentient yeah, mushrooms yeah, underneath yeah. the Earth's mantle. Hold hey, on, hold on. Has hold on, anybody no. taken shrooms? What are, I'm, I'm about wait, to get no, on wait, 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 Hold on, hold there. on. I'm about to get on his level. Has anybody taken shrooms here? Anybody raise a hand no. who's done shrooms? Psilocybin is not what I'm talking about. That's grown in cow So, listen. Have you all seen the Crystal Caverns? Over crystal there Caverns? In, uh, yeah, I think it's like South Arizona. No. Oh, my God. What does this have to do with mushrooms under well, the Earth's well, mantle? That's what people say. So, listen. Because of the way crystals form and the, the prism and the, the connectivity, and it, they say it's like a almost like a sentient being where they communicate with each other. Crystals uh, are communicating. My, my yes. boy, my so boy, listen to, to me. Look, not yeah. only the mushrooms, but now the rocks. No, listen yes. to me, my boy, well, my boy, not, listen. Not rocks, though. Time out. Time, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Listen to me. Listen to me. Let me speak. Let me speak, bro. Scientifically, bro, you have stalactites and stalagmites, which we learned in school. Which is like yeah, crystals. That has nothing to do with crystals. No, but like those are the dripping. That's drip. Of I understand. Rock. But like, the rock water. erodes over time, and the water. I'm trying to say to him that like maybe that is like what you're on, bro. Because like what I've heard of like peyote, mushrooms. Hey yo, you smoking them stalactites DM, or stalagmites? Listen to me, bro. I'm trying to tell you like scientifically, stalactites and stalagmites of like what he's talking about, crystals and like all that shit is natural. But for like DMT, peyote, as well as like, uh, what else is the other one? Um, DMT, LSD, mushrooms, bro. When all of us has taken this as a human race, bro, tell me that you have never had a uh, alt life experience, bro, where it's like unfucking believable what you saw. Or like what you felt as a person. Fortunately, I don't have a perspective on this as I have not I, done. So personally, there's a, there's people that have done mushrooms here. I smoke a lot of green. That's about it. Bro. I mean, I, and I get you, bro. Like there's some people that do that. But what I'm saying is if you ever done mushrooms, have you ever felt an old life experience that like, holy shit, there's more to life itself than just yourself? Like have you ever watched vegetation and you're going like, holy shit, they actually like speak to each other? Talk to each other. Like, bro, when I was tripping out on mushrooms, I could actually see that trees and plants were talking to themselves. Yes. 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 And, ex ex okay, baby girl, like, goddamn, you're fucking, you're on it. You're on it. So what this, what this woman just said across, you need to get in the goddamn podcast. Come here. What's your name? How you doing? Uh, my name is Sierra. Okay. Sierra, go ahead and just explain what you just said again. Feel free uh, so to grab the mic. Sister, so it's a whole connection. Where every okay. Tree. So like, let's say you're 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 a baby tree, right? You're dying. You're like, oh my god, I'm dying. I'm a mama tree. So whatever disease you're feeling, or right. any kind of um lack of nutrition that another tree is feeling, nutrients, the other minerals, tree, uh, the whole that other plant that's underground is gonna feed you. So right. So even you and I looking at each other, speaking to each other, we come from the mysynthesis. We come from that right. whole being. Hence you know the being I mean? of like, so if you feel you negative know. energy and if you feel positive you're gonna energy, feel you're gonna yes, feel you're going to feel that. Right. Photosynthesis, which is like. Sir. Dude, get Time Peter to pay tab, dude. fucking bill, bro. You got a bill to pay, dude. Tip the bartenders. Oh, my seat now. Hey, how you doing? Wait. How you doing? Forget about it. I need, I need Forget to about it. I'm going get myself a coffee. Talking to like, where, where what? is this? Oh, what? We never... You said what? Forget about it. Forget about what? Forget about it. What are we even on about? What are we even talking about? Forget about it. Hey, I'm walking uh, here. If I could just clarify a quick uh, topic. These are the caves I was talking about. So the, these crystals in this cave 
Or that's bigger than this building. It's huge. Right. And you can so walk on them. The energy, so when you're in there, you're fucking vibrating. They're I'm, large. If you bring in they're large energy, as blue wells, if not up. bigger. Think about it. You gotta put good energy in. I like you gotta yeah. cleanse yourself before you even go. That's in why. That's case. why it's actually it's locked off from the uh, actual. All my witchy the friends say I'm a demon. Cannot go in there. They say it looks. Like I don't know. If that's a good thing or a bad thing. Where he goes to hide from the. Because they're witchy, you know what I mean? Like. Yes. So again, all Thank these, all these awesome. inanimate Thank objects you guys. are out here with hive mind yeah. mentality. Listen, the Aztecs they communicate well. with each other through different ways. So, so we're being we're being attacked by the so the Earth is fighting back. Yo, the Earth gonna fight back, bro. I don't believe we're actually fighting. I think it's more we're finally getting to that point because there's this whole thing, this whole theory that every couple centuries or whatever it may be, millennia, the Earth goes through a big change. Hence the ice ages and everything, the the tectonic plates, the extinction of dinosaurs. Like the polar shift There's a the polar shift as well, a magnetic areas. shift, where the magnets south, south and north, they switch. The, uh, exchange of the equinox. Right? Yes, so something yes. Something like so I think we're just finally coming to a head. Plus, not to mention, if you look in so modern, long, modern history along with ancient history, there is no civilization that has gone peacefully through and prosperous through 300 years. We're coming close. So there's a lot of changes happening all at once. Freedom, have you ever heard of the firm, firm? Was it firmament? The firmament. The firmament. You ever hear of that? How do you guys feel about the firmament? You think it's real? You think it's bullshit? What is that? Is That's so. The there's that the, at the at the deepest parts of the ocean. There are there's like a wall of. I mean, you can't. Whatever it is, you cannot get through it. They they try to take ships into it, and like they like little submarines Ooh. and shit into it, and they cannot get through. So it's not just below; it's above. So it's like that saying, "As above, so below." Yeah. And they say that Antarctica is actually an ice wall, and anything going past that point is a whole other civilization that we're not privy to. But they, they restrict us from it as well as above, which is why when you see like, like a double rainbow, if you ever look real close at a double rainbow, the colors are inverted. That means it's a reflection. What is it reflecting off of if it's nothing but space up above? Yo, what the fuck is going on with this podcast right now? <laughs> I don't believe in fat earth. Well, there is a lot of places on earth that are not explored. Have you all seen the fucking videos? I'm sorry, no. the videos on like these deep holes that people have drilled, and there's one in Russia. There's some like random. Well, there's did you? There's this one other. There's this one other hole that. There's this other hole that was found that like. Was like had a shit ton of stuff that was just dropping into it, and it was I, there was a farmer that had dropped it, uh, dropped the like he would drop stuff down this fucking thing, and there was like no end to it. Right. He dropped down like a three hundred foot some shit, and it just would not go through. And the government ended up buying the land off of him, and then you never heard you heard never heard about him again, and you never hear about the fucking hole again. So are you are you aware of the? Uh... I'm a deep hole theorist. The the uh, Ozark Mountains. No. Have you ever? All right. So you guys yeah. know um, what's what's the one guy there that used to do the conspiracy theories? He ran as a governor for a while. He's been Steven, not Ace Ventura. Steven Ventura, Seagal. Some, some of Ventura. No, wasn't it Seagal? No, it's not Seagal. But it's a Ventura. Ventura Files was the name of the show. But he did this one thing. And there's one on the Ozark Mountains. There's an entire bunker the size of New York City that is completely private for the wealthiest of the wealthy. So if anything ever happens, they can go to this bunker. It's fully walled off, big concrete building. It's like um, it's like if you go into a like large parking garage at an airport. It's like that. So All you know, the way through, uh, it's, it's Northwest cool. Arkansas is where Walmart was born. Really? The same. Hey, they could have they could have had a little funding involved. Well, speaking of Walmart, yeah. Does anyone ever notice that Walmart's are always in a county in like a triangle type shape? Like, you always know that there's three of them so within, like, So, the crazy part about other. Walmart, some real factual shit, real quick. Walmart, majority owns, owns all their property. This Listen, is deep dive. Walmart this owns all their property. This is deep dive property. <laughs> Most and of it's bullshit. We're just spewing it out. That's content. So, basically, it's great. If, if there were a foreign invasion, Walmart would be... 
basically martial law into um, like outposts. No, 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 they'd be like actual military bases, like strongholds, like forts. Right. You know no, they own all their property, and a lot of times, if you drive past a Walmart, they big retention wall. No, 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 fucking Illuminati. And, and that's the, that's why the government is actually contracted with them to potentially, if there was a foreign invasion, you know, step up Jesus. to the plate. Went next level with it. You know, you got to carry a big stick, the government. Dude. Walmart X the government. Walmart X the government. Yo, the collab it, we never knew we it wanted. It makes a lot of fucking never sense, though, it. because, like, the Triangle Walmart shit, there's one over on fucking Anderson Snow in Spring Hill. There's one on fucking Commercial, and then there's one on Cortez. I think it would have Well, there's the one on Cortez, Walmart, so. 41. There's, yeah, there's not a triangle there. I think, I think 15 minutes in any direction is fair to say. The Maybe real, like, the oh, real yeah. thing. No, they're ahead of the curve, that's for sure. The real thing. On an average to... across the country, I'm sure. Because I'm sure there are also spaces where it's far apart because it's nothing there. Yeah, that's where the Dollar General is coming. The real thing is popping up like fucking nothing. The real thing we need to talk about is, so, I've never seen any cars outside of them. I've never seen anyone go into them, never heard anything about somebody buying from them. Why are there so many fucking mattress firms? Mattress firm is a money laundering scheme 100%. Well, so look, they get big contracts, right? On hotels and mattresses. I refuse to believe it because if that because I was about to say if that was the case have warehouses. But you don't but you don't see 30 rooms to go per city like you do a mattress firm. Mattress firms are everywhere. I can count there's one on 41 same as a Walmart there's one on 41 one on Cortez one on Mariner and no, North Clare. No to be fair though that's because you have to think the residential rate and the population so growth is honestly in a But nobody's buying from them. People are. Nobody's buying from a mattress firm. People are. I I I've never seen mattress firm get business. I see people go to like Bed Bath and Beyond, Amazon for a mattress, Buddy's furniture. Sh I've never seen cars at a mattress firm. So this is where we get to insert a uh, sponsor, any uh, mattress, uh, you know, ship to home type uh, businesses out there. Uh, you know, this could be your plug, but mattresses, they're marked up. And that's why those businesses are in business, right? Because they just sell at a high. They get it for low, sell it at a high. Low to save and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why all these direct ship to home mattress companies are coming out where you can just, you know, send an order, do, do, do. And there you go. You got like a... It comes in like a vacuum sealed. You seen the the mattress yeah. how they compress it? And then it you gotta fucking box. carefully unroll them because yeah, they'll fling out at you, your ass. Uh, not really, though, like because it's so like compressed. Normally it's like a uh, Tempur-Pedic type material where it's you know like uh, very like soft moving and shit. And, uh, yeah, and so they will. Uh, they'll actually once you cut it out the back, they'll un they'll unroll and then they'll just slowly almost like inflate. Damn. But that's the thing, right? Is if if there's such a popularity your in ship to home mattresses, are be so out of whack with that one. You just went oh like, my you God. put it down. You're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, it wasn't even facing my mouth. The thing I'm is, sorry, guys. if there is such a popularity in ship to home mattresses, you'd have warehouses. What's the need for a sign parking well, lot glass window business front for that's mattresses? The, that's the beauty of that business that model, that though. They they don't need they don't until need until storefronts. Jeremy, grab that microphone. Oh yeah, you can grab that mic until Jeremy. They don't need storefronts though, it's right? A long one, so it's got it's got extra cord. I like you, how he just walks through the door as you right grab as Jeremy it. Grabs it. As he grabs Go it. Go figure. Welcome back. There he is. Uh, a mattress firm. We is, deep dived in some weird ass conspiracy yeah, we're rabbit, rabbit hole. Mattress, firm. mattress firms. So listen, okay. all right. So we've gotten. Shout out DJ Shalimar. Have a good night. Shout out DJ Shalimar. Say what's up to the mic. Hey. Oh, what is it? I can 25th Savage Slam. Shit. Y'all yeah. already know. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My guy. That's the one and only DJ Shalimar. DJ Shalimar. DJ Shalimar. Yes, sir. Swinging the swingers. 
Oh, All right, oh so bro, we deep dive. Why are you gonna take Jerry? See, who do you, who I'm, I'm do you back think in you the, are? I'm so we went sorry. from we went from sentient mushrooms. Who do you think you are taking crystals? Jerry, see, we got into how WalMarts are always in a triangle and maybe collaborative with the government because of how much they have around them. <laughs> And oh, now we're talking about how mattress firm storefronts are a money money laundering front. <laughs> Who the fuck is buying at mattress why firm? Why don't we get real on like what happened at Savages? Can we get on that? Can we get on that? Like, we, get on that? Talk about well, it. we gotta wait. We gotta wait till Jeremy's here. Jeremy's not here. It's like we don't know Jeremy's what happened. There. It's all legends. Right. What do you mean? Sorry, is clear. He's about to well, kick you out allegedly. of his seat. He's Savage is trained. Everybody out the, coming to you sometimes. He's about to kick you out of his seat. He's kind of busy, though, bro. Is He's he? Busy. Is he too busy? We press. Uh, everybody's not really leaving the way this bus is out. I mean, so. my, well, hold on real quick. So, so my working title for this whole train trip to, to Miami and back, last man standing, my running title for this is Savage just runs a train. Well, well, I think like that's good clickbait. That, that is pretty... It's a, it's a pretty good. That is pretty good. Clickbait. Right? Savages so, on train. So, boys, let's talk about uh, distrust Buff. and uh, this worthy for women Savage and men. train run. So tonight, what do we, we actually see at Savages tonight? So, hold on. Oh, Mike J, hold tell on. me, tell me what happened, bro. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know. I know exactly what happened. No, no, you oh, gotta, gotta wait. So, but but. So all right, so while we're waiting on Jer Bear to get here, okay. let me let me get your let me get your uh big germ your opinion on on do you think mattress firm storefronts could be a money lot money yeah, laundering? That's stupid as fuck out. No, you're getting it wrong. It's actually storage facilities. Storage facilities all in Florida, bro. No, 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 no. Storage facilities are popping right now because people are utilizing that's the, the fact Can that you they tell are me homeless, that that bro. Is not a place nah, because motherfuckers be homeless out here. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, bro. Have you noticed? Living at a storage facility is illegal, though. Do not. Anything yeah, you hear, take it take it with a grain of salt. Do not try to live at a storage facility. Listen to me. There's people that have actually done this. I've actually people had friends have. that have done it. And if you actually, like, you get away with it, bro, it's actually a good way of living. So oh, I've seen the YouTube videos. Straight up. Straight up, bro. And uh, yeah, so no, I think you, A lot of people need it. It's a, it's a legit business. I think it's, but honestly, bro, I think it's a hustle as well. Because these people that lose. Well, we've all seen the uh, storage wars, right? right? I mean, so at least I hope you wars, have. But yeah. how many people do you think that lose a profit, that lose their storage facility, gains of one of the person that buys it meaning that like say i have a bunch of shit i can't office? keep up on my storage well no matter what anymore. the storage unit the storage facility is what wins right, right. because they're going to get the payout regardless on the auction they're going to get the money that comes in from right. the the money that was lost that was on that uh, on that shit usually there's insurance well, they're policies let's see it let's see it baby it sounds like it. I'm going to go there. watch this. Travis, go be the, camera. That's good content. Go be a Get fucking camera. I need content. content. Rumble. Yo, I need content. I want to go fucking watch this, but everyone left before nah, nah, me. Nah, nah, yeah. So let's, let's talk about the podcast, bro. I definitely like, want to as we're well. We're going to go but... watch that fight, and it's going to be stupid. Anyway, my point was car washes Allegedly. and as well as storage facilities, I think, are the biggest profits of Florida right now. Because if you're seeing them in massive amounts of numbers... There's obviously something going on, bro. And if you haven't noticed, bro, in the, in Florida, the fluctuation of car washes as well as storage facilities has gone up a lot, bro. And I think that they make a substantial amount of money from doing this, bro. Well, of course. And if your cartel, if I was a cartel boss and I wanted to keep clean money, bro, no. what would be the fastest you way to do that? No, so, so, I think that's a little old school, if I may interject. Who's tracking, you know, for example? Who would track a storage facility, bro? No, if you're no, a cartel no, no. You member can... and you want to stack pounds and pounds away and you actually have the credentials to do it, well, who's going to really check alive, you? Bro. All right, all right. There's no question that the cartel They, is they did that shit too quick kicking. to store it at a storage facility. But, like, look, if you're talking about laundry and money, right? Who's tracking Disney's sales? All that merchandise, all those socks, all those little Mickey Mouses. All right, so if you really want to get down on it, bro. Everything's online now. So if you really want to get down on it, my father worked for Disney for 35 years. 
My uncle also worked 30 plus what years. What is the IRS check, track? Like, hey, did this get shipped to this so house? So check it out, bro. Check it, check it out. out. Listen to me. Listen to me. My, my, uh, my whole family worked for Disney. All right? Since I was like three years old. I had my first haircut at Disney. They have an underground fucking barbershop at Disney. Okay? I was a fucking Disney follower, bro. I have all the signatures from all the fucking characters, all this bullshit. You got pictures of Mickey Mouse? I do. I want to meet him one day. Uh, bro, it's bullshit because, believe it or not, the, the person I love that... Disney World, just to clarify. I got a better, I got a better question. Man. All right. Tell me how big banks own like 70% of all residential properties. Yes. And are looking to essentially monopolize fucking residential properties to a point Bro, check where this out. If you haven't noticed, not Disney... afford housing. Yes. Entirely. Yes. So if you haven't noticed, bro, Disney has been buying out a lot of shit. If you haven't noticed, they own your own Marvel. Yeah. They already own, like, I think Star Wars as well, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Arts, yeah. They're making millions of dollars. What I did find about these motherfuckers, if you really look up the information, they own half of fucking Kissimmee, bro. Their property and the way that they own these properties, bro... Is fucking insane if you ever notice it, bro. It is going past the... I'm talking past the limits of Disneyland, bro. Well, that's because, you know, Disney is technically considered a sovereign nation. Yes. They are so, actually yes. considered a sovereign nation. They have they their own fire department, government. their own police department, their own fucking hotels, their, their own, own motels. Laws. They run so, off, their off, off their sovereign so you're state. Telling me, you're telling me they're, they're a sovereign nation. Correct. If, if, yes. If we do, if we were to employ into some state of disaster in this nation and martial law is declared, yes. Disney does not suffer from our martial law. No, negative because Governor DeSantis actually made it a rule like it's going to be yeah. in effect as well. Okay. Disney has because it's the state of Florida, but they actually claim themselves as a sovereign state. So they actually believe that they have their own rights, their own beliefs, their own fucking shit that they can actually fucking make for themselves. That's crazy. Okay. So, bro, like, what bro, I'm trying to say is... They're all police force, everything, bro. Everything. Yes. So, you Disney, Disney's police, bro, is different from actual police you of Orlando. You can technically be jailed so then, and detained over there at fucking Disney. So then how does it go for... If I'm considered a criminal at Disney, am yes. I considered a criminal to, like... Her you get charged county? with Disney crimes and, like, actually tried okay. through the state. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it has to get passed off. What the fuck? Yeah. Everybody just disappeared. Yeah, everybody disappeared to watch this bootleg fight. I wonder if anything's even happening. Probably. It's probably just a lot of, you bitch, you bitch. A lot of yeah, yelling. Pretty much, pretty much. A lot of yelling. But, and so back to what to I was saying, bro, is my dad, my family members have been working for Disney for 30 plus years, bro. What I found out about Disney is, is that, think about this, bro. You're a billionaire and you want to buy land to expand your land, right? But how do you do that? How do you do that to go to farmers and say, like, hey, listen, we want to buy your land, right? This is where the shit kicker gets in, and this is where I'm going to blow your mind. So you have a guy that comes in to a farmer and says, hey, man, Disney will pay you such a substantial amount that, like, you can't refuse. And some of these farmers are like, yes, like, we'll sell it to you. But then there's the farmers that haven't, bro. I mean, bro, don't be saying no. Correct. Now they start sending people from Disney that are hired off of offshore accounts. Okay? This is proven. You can look this shit up, bro. Look up how many people have died and that Disney has bought the property of the fucking place that they wanted to fucking buy off of the first place of the owner. And that the owner dies of mysterious causes, heart attack, whatever. So this sovereign nation is within our own nation. But when I tell you that I'm Lake, land. yes, no, 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 Kissimmee, no, no, no. half of it, or maybe even a full of it now, three quarters of it is owned by Disney. Walt Disney's the second coming of Christopher. Bro, Disney. straight up, and Walt Walt Disney actually never imagined that. He actually wanted a place to where people can come it, for like a magical a place. So Walt Disney wanted the real Disney. He wanted the real Disney, bro. But he, if if he were to wake up now from his grave. And, like, look, he'd be like, this is not the way I wanted to do it. No, his family got, like, mad, greedy with it. it Disney, like Disney right now, bro, has a lot of money. And I'm talking, like, fucking Bill Gates money, bro. They are fucking rich. And they can do whatever the fuck that they want to do. They own 
large media companies. They own correct very large cities. Yes. Yes. Like they own Disney fucking owns. Disney is currently worth a hundred and fifty seven point seven billion dollars. And that's like probably up there with Elon Musk and all that bullshit. Yikes. It's even scarier to think if if Elon Musk is that rich, you know, Disney's a sovereign nation. Elon Musk himself could start a fucking nation. And that's scary to think that one dude could start a nation. So oh, this is what I'm talking about, bro. No, no, no. But Disney's actually nowhere near Bill Gates. I'm so, sure Bill Gates, bro, is, like, expensive. You know, Apple is worth $2.86 trillion. Holy God shit. damn, bro. Holy Microsoft fuck. is number two. I've got, I've got the top ten most expensive, like, most valuable companies here on this list. I mean, it's even further than that, but holy fuck. So, number one is Apple at $2.86 trillion. Right. Number two is Microsoft at $2.43 trillion. Right, of course. Saudi Aramco, which is, I'm guessing, a... Saudi Arabia. No, it's not just Arabia. It's not just Saudi Arabia. This is like... Dubai? Saudi, it's, a, it's a company. It's Saudi Aramco sounds like a gas. It might be a gas company, company but yeah. that's uh, $2.08 trillion. Goddamn. Alphabet, Google. Google. 1.6. Amazon, 1.4. Yep. That bitch is huge. NVIDIA, bro. NVIDIA graphics from fucking, like, the graphics company. Yeah. Is number six on the list at $1.1 trillion. God damn, dude. That's a lot of money. Well, you gotta think, you gotta think of how many, how many companies are running their crypto management off of Tesla. Eight hundred. Oh, boys, I gotta go billion. take a pee. I'll be right back. Gotcha. Tesla, $804 billion. Meta, a.k.a. Facebook, $796 billion. Berkshire Hathaway, that's a, uh, that's the the investment company from fucking Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. Uh, 764 billion. And then number 10 is Visa with 500 billion. Sheesh. Sheesh. That's a lot of money out there to be made. Johnson & Johnson is 15. Oh my God. No way. Then vaccines. The true, vaccines. True. Vaccines. That's right. We went through right. a pandemic and I was just thinking about their that. fucking baby shampoo. I'm sorry. Man, Christina, Johnson. oh shit! Christina just messaged me saying it's fucking, it's going fucking crazy. What is happening? I want to get. I'm about to say we need to get out there. We're gonna take a short, short pause. We I'm should sorry, bring y'all. the live stream. I, yeah, probably. Yeah, let, we're gonna bring the live, but we're gonna take a pause. Well, I've never seen a turtle. Yeah, I've never seen a turtle. Um, she will. God bless. Do you want me to put it back live? Don't have it live anymore. <laughs> All I know is that. Fact, I'll put a comment on there to do Yeah, don't. It's done then. Yeah, this is now recording. I stopped it. It's still recording. I don't want it to record anymore. Uh, it is now. Uh, Dude, dude, all I know is that girl, I literally mm. asked her, I was like, where are the fucking keys at? She was like, fucking trying to come at me. And I was, this is not what you want. <laughs> so I just, all I did was like tap her ass towards the fucking uh, wall. <laughs> and then she got jumped. So yeah. I don't know. I told her ass. Molly. Molly, stuff actually, not level one. I did. This wasn't it. You got the wrong bitch. You got, you got the wrong bitch. I don't know who it was, but someone's like, what the fuck's with Molly? That shit's strong. Oh, probably Kristen. That was Kristen. The one that had that strong ass punch was definitely Kristen. I kept swinging. Yeah. Oh, they took it better than a dude that I didn't think. Damn. Who got the clips? Now the bitch who just turned 21 and can't find her fucking keys because a drunk ass, stupid ass hoe. Why would you delete them? Ran off with them. So, and then. Okay, well. Whenever I asked about it, she wanted to come at me. Okay, well, I want to see them. I'm right fine, I'm not, wrong time. <laughs> I'm not posting them or nothing. I just want to see them myself. How to escalate between the short little black girl and... Well, she, it, started, it started inside. It started inside. So, yeah, start from the beginning, Molly. I don't know. I, I just walked in. And it was... From what I saw, it was fucking Ingrid fucking snapping. And I've known Ingrid since I was in, like, middle school, bro. Like, she don't fuck off. Yeah, but she don't fuck up. You don't see that side of her anymore because she's not trying to be that person anymore. 
but then I walked outside and there was just a lot going on. Then I saw, um, Angel like crying because she didn't have her keys and she just turned 21. That's her car. Then I'd fucking try to talk to the girl about it after there had been like a bunch of brawls (laughs) and she was like trying to come at me. I was like, uh, right bitch, wrong time. Probably not. Probably not. And then she got jumped <laughs> trying to come at me. So I just, I just didn't really feel like, um, you just got sprayed with two whole cans. You can't fuck them up. Well, if you thought that this shit was going to go right, whenever fucking Jeremy had a big ass can threw one and then started another one. <laughs> and now why are you still going? Why are you still going? <laughs> Bro, he wants to come at me like, no, motherfucker, I was not in it. I was trying to, I was trying to keep the peace, trying to keep the peace. Now we got God bless. <laughs> yeah. So that's that was a while. So, for the record, this. So as far as we know, this it all started because we had some weird, some weird dude creeping up here on the back fence, looking over the fence, and so oh, really? somebody decided. Right. So somebody there, goes. I'm sitting. No, you're good. I'm, I'm sitting there and I see. Over the fence. And then he waits over that fence? Yeah. That's a and tall then, ass motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and then a few minutes later, he pops his head over again and then gets uh, Marcus to go do something for him. I see Marcus go off and, and say something. So Marcus No, no, it was Sal. I don't so, know if he knew him or not. Oh, Marcus was no. first. And then, Marcus, and and then, then Sal went over there, there, there to go talk to him and find out why he was over there. It turns out his baby mama was sitting over here right. in the front porch smooching the finger. They were over there hanging out. <laughs> So it didn't look like she was doing anything with any dudes or whatever, but he had his kids with him on the other side of the fence. Well, why you got the kids at the bar? <laughs> like, he was probably looking for his baby mama, like, why are you at the bar? I guess, I guess she was supposed, supposed to, to have home. kids or something. She's yeah. supposed to be at home with the kids. I mean, but that's what that's what y'all are made to think, though, right? Like, she, like, who I, knows? I, I don't, who, knows who fucking knows? Well said, oh, man. I love my bitch Ingrid. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Are you, on the show? Are you on the show live right now, Molly? I think so. You didn't even the camera, did you? I mean, I did. <laughs> Shit. Restart that. Salvage it's off. Yeah, he, he wants it off. Oh. You want to keep the All I know on? is I was not going to be... Oh. You said you wanted I to go there? You said yeah. you wanted to... My Jake, you want to keep the live off? Yeah. yeah. Let him tune into the rest of the because yeah, it, it was a dramatic ending on live. It ended dramatically. What? Like, everyone like, fucking laughed real quick? No, like, <laughs> we were sitting here with Sal and, fuck, and Ethan, I think his name was. But, Ethan with the braids. Yeah. I said, are you just coming from the Bahamas? We were sitting here. It was just us four. And then Ethan gets up. Then Sal gets up. Me and him are like, fuck, bro. We should go see what the fuck is happening. Cause I got just cause and then we bring the phone like, out there and they're like, weird. no live. This shit's so going it ended wild. all dramatic. So I was like, yo, we gotta we gotta step outside and see what's going on. Hold you on. You have to say you're proud of me though. Oh my god, I did not do anything. I literally said, do you have do you have angels? Keys? Oh man. She was scared I was gonna fucking die. Then how did she get home? She's still here, probably. Uber. No, there's. So that one girl with the glasses, she ain't got no glasses no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no lenses are popped out on so, the ground. So again, dude's just sitting on the other side of the fence with his kids, looking for his baby mom. I guess that that kickstarted. So, so what actually happened? Skinny girl with the glasses. Skinny black girl. No, skinny white girl with the glasses. Oh, that skinny bitch! I was ready to knock her ass out whenever she yes. went right by us. With the fucked up teeth. So, 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 so I, I was dealing with that. So take me through the whole story again of where it transpired. So it happened in the female's bathroom. That's where it started. No, no back before that, when the guy was peeking on the fence with the baby. Yes, yeah, so the, the guy was peeking on the fence. I, I seen him peek his head over the side of the fence, and I'm like, then Wait. I seen him do it again, and I'm like, yo, I, I tell Jen <laughs> and somebody else, and and uh, and, and, uh, so. and Sal, and they're over there making fun of me. Paranoid, was right? that super so creepy though? Sal runs was that over super there creepy? And he's got his on the other side of the fence and he's looking for his baby mama who happens to be right there. Right. Uh, so where? he gets Marcus to go over there and talk to her. I guess Marcus, Marcus walks off. Not. That's a great pick. 
I guess Marcus walks <laughs> off. He Marcus walks said off. He but, no part of it. Yeah, he, he walks, walks the fuck off. But Sal sees it and he's like, "Well, I'll go talk to him." And I he won't. finds out that the kids are over there. So they ain't so. Yeah. And then I guess she went out there to go talk to him. But what happened in the bathroom? He never left. So, though. so, never left. so the little black chick come out saying Ingrid. that Ingrid, Ingrid came out saying that toothless girl threw a drink on her in the bathroom. 100% it happened because the bathroom is trash right now, mud, water, all over, or whatever on the floor. So that's when I'm trying to back her out the bar. As I get her out the bar, that skinny girl comes out, and she's like, oh, I just want to talk to her. I'm like, you're not going to talk to her. Fuck out of here. Go home. And basically, we got her over on that side of the parking lot. Jeremy had her over there. I came back in here and started pushing them that way. Got them over there, and then they came back. That girl just kept coming back like cockroaches, man. It just kept. Oh, that's beautiful. I gotta see It'll that. Be on the screen inside the building, so you gotta come to the bar. Fuck that! I literally asked where the fucking keys were. Asked where the fucking keys were, and that girl tried to charge me, and I just kept backing up. This is not what she wants. <laughs> not what she wants. So more importantly, it's gotta be real. Absolutely. So. I thought I heard that somebody was calling the cops, but apparently not. No, that was just heard. Well, there oh, perfect. Call the police and stuff. Nice. That'll do it. That'll do it. Work smarter, not harder, because. <laughs> Listen, unless it's worth a fuck, don't try to fight. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck around and find the fuck. Oh, out. God bless. We never... <laughs> we never even got to savages running a train. No, no, we never got to the whole point of, yeah, savages, we're, we're running a train? <laughs> that's beautiful. Going on a train to Miami. I think that's what it is. That's gonna be a ride and a half. And it's getting fair. Yes. No, yeah. For yeah. sure. Probably gonna be the better idea. <laughs> Man, that's gonna be that's gonna be wild. And then we got And then we've got so we got what Savage Slam on the twenty fifth? Twenty fifth of this month. Do we have a theme? Do we have a theme? Or at least that week. That week too, really. Okay. Okay. Theme coming in the future? Theme coming soon. Yeah, do it soon. Stay tuned. We got, a, we got a couple things in the air right now. You know, right now at this time of the year, it's, it's weather. So, you know, a lot of things I want to do outside, you might not be able to do. So, I have to watch the weather every day and kind of see it looking like it. And, you know, we're rolling the dice. We'll lock it in about <laughs> 10 days before, like usual, and that'll be that. Yes. Thank you. Well, I want to introduce yourself. You just put your hand. What's going on here? A little, little podcast. Mike, check, one, two. We'll Mike, check. You're good? They're all on. They're all on. They're all on. I don't know. 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 Oh shit, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how many viewers we got right now? This is not live recording. Yeah. Usually when it is part of practice. Yeah. We had no. this is yeah, this is pre recorded. Well, how do I hear myself? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't hear yourself. 
No, it's recording. We just edit the video later. Say, we'll, on YouTube. We'll, we'll have to hear. We're gonna we're gonna be sitting in there listening to you go. Oh, okay. yeah, Eddie, the mic. Yeah. yeah. Eddie, do it. We're gonna highlight the. Ooh. Well, I'm still burning from the pepper spray. <laughs> it's gonna become a sound bite. Yeah, excuse me. Become, but I'm I'm still burning from the pepper spray. I got you. I got you. Barely. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> West Coast. Are we not screening these seats? That's the theory. We're right here. We're, I mean, we're right here. I mean, that's all it takes. I'm burning a little bit, but I'm still pepper spraying motherfuckers. Oh, big out there, bro. Hey, can we uh watch a rerun on that? Like, is it recorded right now or what? It is recorded. Here, let's see that recording. No, no, we can't. We can't stop the recording right now. Yeah. No, it's no. a continuous recording until it's done. Oh, then we go through, okay. we edit out like the the shit that's like illegible. Don't worry, we'll make you look good. What's the topic right now? What, what do you guys uh, suggest? Uh, we were just talking about we the were just Savage talking Slam. About the, uh, the Savage, Savage Slam that's coming up on the 25th. Every, every month. Yeah, every month. The Savage Slam is the most lit time to be here. Absolutely. Without a doubt. It don't, it don't matter where you come from or who you are. At all. If you come here, you're going to have a good time. DJ's indoors, DJ's outdoors. We got, we, got, we got a DJ in here, we got a DJ on here. Not only that, but we got about full security. And they all live. I mean, I mean, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're hurting my brain more. I'm sorry, okay, I'll be quiet. <laughs> you kicked me out? I lost my train of thought, I think, to talk about. Okay, go ahead. Hey, how about them jet skis, though? When are we going to take them out? Jet skis are fun. Let's talk about that. Butterflies are pretty. Butterflies. butterflies. <laughs> Look like a butterfly, sing like a bee. Peanut butter feels gross. Look, we take them butterflies out. <laughs> Peanut butter does feel Look, gross. He's got, he, he got a butterfly. That's spark. Yeah, the spark. I've been waiting to take them out. <laughs> <laughs> What's the big uh, hub and bus for? <laughs> you about to blow my house down? <laughs> Pretty damn. You know what I'm saying? So, last, so, man, last man standing. That definitely sounds like it's going to be a blast. So, it... Oh, bro. I wonder if anybody's going to get arrested. I'm hoping nobody does, but that would definitely make for some content. This content. So, Long story short, I'm sitting in a house last night. I'm in a YouTube rabbit hole. I told Mike, you know, the video comes on. Guy takes train from Miami to Alaska. So I'm thinking, you know, how is this even possible, right? Just, I'm going to click on it, entertain this for a little bit. The, oh, like, I didn't know trains were like a real thing. In my mind, it's like the old movies. You know, like bones and crackheads hop on there. They throw the bags on there and they travel from town to town. I didn't know these things were advanced now. Yeah. Besides in cities like New York. But like, you know, in the South, you take a plane or you take a bus. I don't hear about that as much. Right. So I watched the video. I'm like, okay, so let me think of the logistics of this. If you were to just take it to, like, party areas around Florida, the price. So I started looking into it. $38 a ticket from Tampa to Miami. I mean, six-hour drive. You know, gas alone was going to cost you 150 bucks to take a right. car. Yeah. And you can't party. So I'm thinking, all right, now we utilize a train as a cheap party bus. With a thought process behind it. Now, you fill up the whole car with a bunch of buddies, and it's a $38 trip. Go party in Miami for the night. Hang out. I, you really can't beat it. You can't. How much? If it's 38 bucks. $38 from Tampa to Miami. Yes, sir. No, no that's one, one way. So. But if you buy two tickets, you save them. So really, it'll cost yes, you about... So yes, so for two tickets, a uh, round trip, it was about $130 for a trip to Miami. Hey, but once, once we get to Miami... I mean, that's not... You know, if you were to drive yourself, you that's... You're paying, paying more than gas. We get there... Wait, we're but if one, weighs, if one weighs 38 bucks, how is it yeah, one... You know, 20. For two. For like two. Oh, oh, okay. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So there is a single person. Got you. Got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're good. You're good. 
I was. That's a phenomenal fucking price. I, I had a brain fart. An immaculate. You get fucked moment. up on the way there. You get fucked up when you get there. And you just gotta remember to wake up and get on the train back. Right. You know, everybody likes Don't to take. Wake up. You can't, you can't go to sleep and get on the train. Yeah. Your only responsibility is to get on that train. Yeah. Because it only runs once a day. You miss it. And you pay for that fucking ticket. ticket. Yeah, you're stuck there. Yeah. And you get another ticket. So, what are we Damn. going to Friday? Come back Sunday? Well, that would be two days. Sunday but night or something. It would be like, I say we leave on a Saturday. Yeah. You're getting there at 10, you're partying all night, and then you're just getting back on the train and riding home to sleep in the morning. No Nobody drives, everybody gets to drink and have fun. The, so Sunday is the sleep. We can take an Uber. What time? Wait, wait, wait. The, uh, the last man standing, I'll do a prize for. Hey, but what? Where, where are we going to hit first? Once we get off the train? or whatever. What time does the in train Miami? arrive back? Like 11. That's no, a good 11 a.m. at least. Okay. So when Miami no, is no. correct, the club's close at four, right? Miami so if it leaves, it leaves at it leaves Miami at eleven a.m. Yeah. So and it gets here at what time? Realistically, eat. You know, it's about that time to get back on the train, and then you have that whole whole ride back if you want to sleep and crash. How long is the ride? Five and a half hours. Five and a half hours. So, then so about four o'clock. Yeah. You're not driving. You're not doing nothing. You're just hanging out, yeah. drinking. Oh, yeah. We all get God section, damn. We all get a section together. Of course, the whole car. You know what I'm saying? The whole thing. There's Fuck a, yeah. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you don't want to deal like we own it. You don't want to deal with us, bitch. Go to another car. <laughs> You're out of there. Yeah. What are the legalities behind? <laughs> hey, I'll be like, are there any hey, concerns just, we should like have? Just like I'm crude. Just like I'm crude. Jeremy was my uh, manager. Yeah, you what? played with the Bucks. <laughs> that is against the word. Yeah. Go we ahead, went, tell him. We went on the cruise. In the mic. In the mic. Yeah. 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 That one right there. I don't know what to do with my hands. Is it okay. <laughs> okay. You can Ricky, take it out uh, if you want. Okay, Ricky. So, <laughs> so we go on a cruise. Warren, of course, is misbehaving first day. I just took a fan. I, I Steals the fan it. from the elevator, going back, <laughs> brings it to his room. Like a, a standing fan. No, no it's, it a, it's like a floor that. fan that you use to drive forward. With. So you mop, you know, the floor fans that you yeah. sit down. The one you blow right. the big tits up. Definitely not that. Like a cat. But no, it won't. This is a floor fan. So he, he decides. Blown, okay? He decides his room is too warm. Even though you control the AC, you can have <laughs> this room. Room is too warm. Room you want. We're on a cruise ship, by the way. But it's too warm. I don't think really know he knew how to work the thermostat. Hey, no. So he steals the fan. <laughs> First night. Next day, we go back to the club. Here comes security. Suits and all, ties, they they make this like about the like, fan. Like no. straight like straight Gestapo Maybe coming out of stairs yeah. and they beeline for us. Well at this time we we had a stock of shot glasses like this big and I'm just chucking them off the boat. <laughs> and we're not taking him, videos. Just, not just him, but me too. We're yeah. just like So I think I'm in big trouble. I'm like, oh shit, it's day two. Here we go. <laughs> they just walk right past me. They say, You come here. Me. They're pointing at me. So they you know, I, I already know he's gonna fuck this up tremendously. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, wait a minute. So I, I follow him over there too? and he starts digging into him. Like, where's the fan? Where's it at? Follow all the questions. I'm like, oh shit, this is all about the fan? All the, I've been just throwing, I just threw a lawn chair like, off the back <laughs> of this fucking boat. Dude, I mean, we're literally, I threw, a lawn, I threw a fucking lawn chair off the back of the boat. Like, woohoo, see you later. Bro, we're like, in no. Shit. And he comes down. It's about no. the fucking Hold fan. On, listen, listen. One at a time. This is real shit. We threw a stat, like, you know. I understand Bro, a lot of people are like, oh, no, that's terrible. Look for the turtles. Whatever. It was fun. Because you're on the, the club was on the very back of the boat. So it's so shit. So you throw shit in here. It's just flying all over the place. I'm like, let's chunk a chair. <laughs> no. They're tripping about this fucking floor fan. They come get him. So, all right, let's fast forward. They get him. They start talking to him. He freaks it up. So I look I'm over like, at Jeremy. I'm like, wait a minute. Where's the fan? I said, listen. I, I said, listen. Come here, Jeremy. Like I said, listen. I'm his manager. Talk to me. You know. I said, Listen, he we don't, I said, Bucks. verbatim, I said, we don't want no trouble. He just signed. He's going to be a rookie this year, tied in for the Bucks. I'm his manager. Talk to me. I'll deal with him. He's like, yes, sir. Pulls me to the side. We start talking. I said, listen, I'll All make sure. Favorite. I give you my word. That fan will be back in that elevator by the time we leave tonight. He said, your word? I said, yes, absolutely, sir. My word. He let us keep party. No big deal. What I, I said, you take your motherfucking ass back to that room right now. Go <laughs> get that fan put back in the elevator. So he went and did it. We kept partying the whole night. No big deal. So for the rest of this trip, everybody on the boat thought Warren played for the Bucks. This bitch was famous. No shit. Like, hey, every time I get in trouble, I'm like, look, that's my manager. Talk to him. 
We would walk across Jeremy the course. Over. Jeremy's always watching after me. So I'll come over. Here comes my manager. I'm like, that's my we were on the islands. People be like, Bro, I mean, He's taking everybody. pictures with everybody on the beach. Everybody. No. Everybody. Like, Someone's like, telling their kids I'm so, in a Bucks player. It's just yeah. a random motherfucker. Like, like, <laughs> random motherfucker on the boat. Listen, so now we're getting to day four, day five. Now Warren's really popular. Like, we can't truth. walk anywhere without people taking pictures with Warren on the boat. <laughs> And I'm just nobody, right? Like, like yeah. I'm just <laughs> the manager. Right? They're like, I'm like, hey, what's good? You know, they don't want to talk to me. Like, you know, I'm nobody. <laughs> like, Yo. It starts going to his head a little bit. He's just out there kicking around. So day six. Oh, then now we stayed up. So day six now, we leave the club. We yeah. go rob the bar on the cruise. Oh, my God. We take every bottle. We take the ice, all no. the mixers. We Listen. bring it back to the up to, uh, to no. the top pool deck pool. Listen. And just when have I a mega you, fucking party when with I everybody you, from the club. We had our own bottle. So that same security, they come around from every point. They're standing on the corners like this with their phones. Taking pictures. Because Warren Massey's it's out there. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. They don't tell us to stop. They let us keep rolling. Yeah. <laughs> like, we roll listen, till the sun's coming up. Dude, listen. So I tell, all the, I tell all the lackeys that are there hanging out with Warren, yeah, y'all clean this up. We're going to hit the sheets. So I leave all the lackeys to clean this shit up. And the next day, nothing happens. They all get in trouble. Me and Warren, we're strutting out the next Listen, day like nothing happened. This had all, all started. In trouble. We're all hanging out. <laughs> no. After, after the club. People were yelling at the all right. at the bar, like, yo, what the fuck? No. So no, we're listen. at the pool. The sun's literally coming up almost. On we're the back, there, on the back end of the boat. Everywhere, because we just robbed the bar. It's yeah. obviously on camera. They see us. But yeah. there's a shitload of us from the club. Yeah. Warren, so they don't know who to there. pick out. So they, they bring all the guys in the suits out. They stand at each corner of the top deck like this with their phones. Like Five o'clock in the morning, the morning bro. Boss, they didn't want to come there and start a goddamn riot because there's, yeah. there's like sixty of us out here at this pool <laughs> hanging yeah. the fuck out. So yeah. when we're done, we bring a, we bring our bottles yeah. and we, I just tell them, "Hey, clean this shit up." But not a single security said a word the entire time. The Listen. next day, they got the rest of them got in trouble. Yeah. You want to know what really started it? Even when we were getting we were off the boat. Out. So look, look after, after the club, after the club, oh, yeah, we oh my bottle. god. Listen, after, after the club, on this the is the boat, crazy. We went to the middle of the boat where the pool, the saltwater pool was, the big screen, all that. So we're, it, if I get wraps around the pool, there's chairs everywhere. We picked our own chairs, put them out. Met this D lineman. He's from Georgia. I mean, big ass fucking 16 year old, bro. He's like 360 pounds. Yeah, he was signed with Georgia. I, I, like, I wouldn't even try this dude if I had, to, you know what I'm saying? If I thought I had a chance, I would just back off. He wasn't even getting the celebrity listen, attention that you listen, were. Listen, listen, that's bro, what I'm talking about. Do the exact same bro, we, we, left, we left the back of the club and the, the back of the boat where the props are spinning. We're, we're throwing shot glasses off the back, chairs, everything. You know, he said, bro, <laughs> bro, we go, we go to the pool. He's going to go viral and they're going to sign him anyway. I had a they're going to sign him to a one-day deal. deal. We're, we're all hanging out. I had a bucket of beer that I got. It was empty. I told Jeremy, I said, I'm about to go fill this up with beer. The whole thing, I'm filling fill the bucket up with beer. He's like, nah, just take the bottles. Dude, I went to the bar trying to yank that up. It didn't work. He went around to the other side where the hot tub and everything was. I yanked that bitch up with no problem. I grabbed, he said, grab any bottle you can. Dude, I, I, I mean, a whole handful. I grabbed, I grabbed beer. one empty. I got a hand. We bring back, we're having, bro. now we're having a rager. At bro, we got like six, so seven said, bottles. So also, I'm I, running my the pool party full. like it's my bar. So I'm sitting in the girls. I say, you go grab some ice. Where's it at? <laughs> Here's the bucket. I said, go around the corner. There's an ice bin. Me and Jeremy, like, okay. what we do? Around 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 we go around and grab the bucket this, You go grab the mixers. They're on the other side. You know, cause I mean, it was yeah. too easy. Now I'm throwing this mega rager on the fucking cruise ship. Like, bro, I'm like, talking like, like <laughs> I'm talking like when I when I grabbed a handful, I grabbed it like my arms were like this. I grabbed the ended bottle. Jeremy's like, no, nah, grab the full one. I put that one down and grabbed the full one. <laughs> Old boy had a Bluetooth speaker too. I said, ah, bro, we're gonna need that. Give me that. We're gonna need that. Let me walk to the Someone's side. Someone's getting down to this. Give me this. Repossess this that shit. Find you. Turned it up. Everybody starts dancing the around the pool. Are, and security's literally sitting around like this. Bro, cameras are everywhere on the boat. So you see everything you're doing. 24 7. Then I, grab, I grabbed a handful of bottles. We That's walked the inside by the, by the pool. I put them all on the table, bro. I was sitting there like pouring up shots for everybody. Just like this. I know why I can't wait. Just like this. So yeah, it worked out. Even when we were leaving the boat and you're in those long lines getting off, going to customs, everybody. Oh, that was horrible. Warren, we're getting off, going to our truck, <laughs> and people are coming up to Warren to take pictures with him before they get back in their vehicle. 
Like, this is how serious it got. We were a motherfucker from Georgia, Tennessee. That's the rookie tight end. That's what we're passing. That's what. They got off the boat. We met in the parking lot. They had a 2023 Air Max. about to be a cruise jail for the rest of the trip. I mean, we were in there, Jeff. I got the bottle from Mexico. They had the worm in the bottle. Man, I finished the whole thing. The worm ain't doing nothing. So with that right. being said, if you want to go on a cruise, if you're with me, we're going to hang the fuck up. Hey, <laughs> Roger, whatever you do, Jamie the dude to go to. Roger, whatever that. you do, don't walk the streets of Mexico unless you know somebody, because you're going to get snatched up. Uh, bro, they do that. Bro, Mexico is fucking nuts. They dr- they hop out of trucks doing drive-bys with machetes because you got clean water. Bro, when I back. tell you I stepped, I, when I stepped off the boat and I walked on the street for five minutes, I looked around and I'm like, Nope, this ain't for me. This ain't where you want to be? I turned back around and we head back to the boat. Well, I, I mean, mean you know, it's kind of like you know, that shit you is know, dangerous. You know when they do that whistle okay. and they like they pour the drink down your throat and they like they they like twist your nipples and shit? There's one of them, they pour the drink down your throat. Bro, right it. off the boat, we went to that bar. I yep. can't remember what it was. <gasps> we got we got shot, so shot. fucked up. So I I've been I've been cruising a while. I know the lick that's happening. They're just pouring shots down their throat. Him and Lacey. I'm like, hey, Back you, gotta and pay, you gotta pay for these. Like, no, nah, no, nah. I was like, no, nah, they're gonna charge you for these later. It was Next cheap. Thing, yeah. It was cheap. I'm like, I'm like, I kept topping them. Like, hey, stop, stop, because they'll keep going. Like, one more, easy one, one more, one more, one more. Next thing you know, your tab is ninety dollars. Hey. I'm like, they're charging for these. Hey, Jeremy and he enjoyed every bit of it. That I mean, my boy was up against the rail. Yeah. She was like doing that. We're in Rome. I'm back. And then out. she turned him around. And slapped his ass and gave him another shot. I'm like, damn, I don't want that. Next thing that? you know it, I'm getting that. I'm like, bro, we got to go. I don't want that. Just give me a little piece, though. Just Hold give on. me a little, bit, a little bit of that. Hey, I'm not going to lie. That water was nice, though. It was nice. Hell, yeah. The oh, whole shit. trip was nice. Hell, I yeah. think the best uh, food I had was the swordfish. It's like a little chicken. Look, a little chicken strip. A nice little square. Tastes like chicken, bro. It was swordfish. They, they fried it. I, honestly, I don't know what they did with it. Every night we we every night we went out, we had like a five course meal. Damn. I'm talking. Me and Jeremy were ordering a steak after steak. It was always on the menu. So we order a steak, and then order another one. You can have three steaks minimum. Fuck. Boy, we max that shit out. Bringing those lobster tails out. Yeah, yeah. Kept, 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 hey, that was the night. <laughs> Uh, Dolph and Bean didn't show up, and we ate their lobster tails, nigga. I'm talking like we ordered the max amount, and then we split thirds. Fuck it, they didn't show up. Somebody got to eat it. Man, this Somebody got to eat it. Course meal. Facts. Right. We all, we all, like we got this this table for us every night. Same same table. <laughs> I gotta do some convincing. I need to go to this fucking Miami trip. Yeah, you got you got to so with that. Are you? Think you're gonna be able to do this? Pull this off? <laughs> <laughs> me is me is me is probably the closest to a no because I got a baby. Just had a baby. Right, that's understandable. Yeah, but if you was oh, ever yeah. do it, when hey, I if, want to. If you, if you was ever do it, oh, when okay. would you do it? Like next now, month? now, like tomorrow? Oh, you not, could go. not tomorrow. No. If I would, you do said it, now. Oh no, see, I thought you meant like what other chance am I gonna get? But if I if I would to do it. Now would be the perfect time to start talking to my bitch about. Hey, yeah, because it's like it's a little hot, but it's For getting sure. cold. What I want, what I like to transpire like four times a year. This works out like this time we're doing Miami. Next time, Fort Lauderdale's ten dollars. Damn. Fort Lauderdale, we hit that. We hit Orlando, hit that strip one time. You know, <gasps> dude, like four times. I'm about to be on. Hey, I'm with it. I'm with it. Because everybody wants to go party with their friends. This right. is always what someone has to drive. Not everybody can fit in one vehicle, right? So one person doesn't get to party. On the train, you alleviate that. And you can't party as you want because you got to spend all that fucking money on gas. Of course. And, like, you can't legally ride around and drink and drive. Exactly. You just can't do that. But on the train... You you can ride a fucking train and drink. I want to hear Jen's opinion on that. Let's get it live. Or not live. We're not live. It's being recorded. I know. I'm just kidding. Look. I had the most fun on that cruise ship. I'm talking like, dude, what what was that we had? The uh, when we had those uh headphones on. Oh my god, that was horrible. That was whack. <laughs> that was whack. Anybody, hang, whack. anybody yeah, hanging out like that? My mind can't even comprehend that. That was the dumbest shit. Dude, I've ever I'm been talking to. like, we walked in. Have you ever been to a silent club? 
I've horrible. seen videos of that shit, but I would, I would think it's weird. Like, what no, if you got a no, it's to weird. It's very, it's very it's antisocial. Weird. You're literally, you walk in there, all you're going to hear is shoes squeaking. Bro, everybody got their own headphones on. They're listening to a different station than what you are. If not, they're listening. So there's you a, have people there's dancing. Color. We first get in, they're dancing on like Spanish style. I'm like, word, what's up? There's a color tone. I'm like, this to every is Drake channel. My shit, what the fuck you dancing to? You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. and he's like, oh, you gotta change the station. So I'm trying to change the station to fit in with the vibe. And I'm like, and then I just lose it. I'm like, I'm done with this shit. I do my they're like, back. they're shit ass headphones. It's like the Beats, but yeah, like Goodwill good. version. The bots. No, yeah, good. the bots. We'll say that. Can I try? Like, and Jen was hanging out with it. She had the headphones on. And we went to the uh the club on the back of the boat, and Jim was sitting there partying, like so. couldn't couldn't hear shit. But she was singing though. A dollar fifty. A dollar fifty. A dollar fifty, fifty for her bait bag. Oh, let me hold up. He's too quick with it. I'm just kidding here. I'm pickled. <laughs> no, my boy. God bless America. Hey, what's what's your name? Ryan. Ryan, nice to meet you, Ryan. Nice to meet you, my man. What's my name? Warren. How'd you know that? It's been said 45 times since you walked out that hey, door. Everybody knows you. No, yeah, you're the fucking hey. rookie tight end for the Bucks. That's you how I know. It. You know it? Dude, when I seen him come out, he's like the man in black, dude. He came out with an all-black suit and a tie, and he pointed at me, you, and he's like, come here. Come here, Shave, <laughs> shave tattoo. You know, dude, I walked over to him. They, 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 they mean they, business. Like, present. Yeah. Bro, he was like, for sure, had a gun on him. He was about to put me down. So I said, one, one, one. Oh, an elevator fan! <laughs> one wrong move, and it could have been my last. I looked over at Jeremy and said, that's, that's my manager. You almost he lost He turned at Jeremy and called Jeremy over like this. You, the same thing he did to me. You almost said, lost your fucking manager. life. Talk to him. Jeremy took full control. He's like, look, I'm his manager. He's tying for the Bucks. Let's just hang out and have a good night. And the dude like, looked at me and Jeremy. He's like, okay. I'll let you go for this night, but return the fucking fan. He almost lost it your life over an fucking elevator night, fan. Dude. All I wanted was to be cool. Man, almost took two to the chest for a fucking I fan. I grabbed the fan, dude. We're on the second level of the boat. I grabbed the fan from the fucking, right there where the, uh, where the elevators go up and down. Dude, they had, they had like four fans out there. I was like, okay, I'm going to take this one. I grabbed it. Dude, I was so oh, they don't, it looks like they don't need dude, this one. This spot's dry. I was so this spot's dry. I was so tore up. We took it back to the room. I didn't even plug it in. It, 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 just, <laughs> it just sat on the floor. So and almost, here I wake up, go to the club, and I get in trouble for it. I'm you like, almost I didn't even went, use it yet. You almost went to cruise ship jail Damn. over an elevator fan. Dude, that you elevator. didn't even Not use. just me, but my bitch oh, ass. Oh, I'm going to say something I shouldn't have. Oh, God. <laughs> Blame. What happens on his cruise ship stays on a cruise ship. I mean, I'm, I'm convinced, like, we really pushed the envelope this last cruise, and I, I'm convinced there's almost nothing you can do. Is there, like, so there's, like, a no-fly zone, is, or there's, like, a no-fly list. Is there a no-cruise list? Yes. I, I think you really have to act up to get on that list. But if it does list, exist. If you get on it, there's a lot of cruise lines. Exactly. But it, but it definitely yeah. exists. Dude, you know we how bad you got to fuck up to get banned package. from every cruise line? Bro, we had the unlimited package. We would go in the it. morning, get whatever drink we wanted. The irony of the whole trip is that we robbed a bar. <laughs> I mean, we threw and we got away with it. an amount of shit into the ocean. Yeah, we threw a lawn like chair at the boat. Yeah, yeah. Just hey, chunked it. Yeah, yeah. Everybody got seen this one. It wasn't like hidden. Like this is a packed ass fucking club. DJs are people everywhere. Bro, I, so I took well, I took the lawn chairs and I put them in the middle of the dance floor at first. So I'm just laying out on the dance floor. We're hanging there. out. So I get warned to get out of one, too. So everybody's just dancing and hanging out. And I'm laying in the, in the pool chair. It's me and Jeremy just hanging like out. This boss hanging out. So I'm like, go ahead and grab a warm. Don't be shy. Everybody loved it. They're like, yeah, they're going to dance. Bro, like every that. night we put a lawn chair by the back. And like that was what I threw it off. Grab another one. No big deal. Dude, we make it. No big deal. Hey, no big we deal. make it. So the make guy it. comes up. Not that I threw the lawn chair off the fucking boat. Men in black. Can you not grab any more chairs off the stack? I just stacked these. Absolutely, my bad. I'll grab him from over hey, here, what if, and I'll put him back. Listen, listen. What did we do the next just night? Just be nice. You just—that's what it boils down to. Some of the situations, you can almost do anything you want. Just, just gotta be, be nice and respectful, and you can hey. almost get away with anything. Hey, Jeremy, don't be degenerate. Hey, what? Like be what? degenerate, but also be respectful about being a degenerate. Yeah, like, sure. yeah. I did that. That was stupid. I'm sorry. And most of the time, I'd be like, okay, we'll just don't do it again. Get out there, and be somebody. You're on like, his good side. So right works. now, he don't care about what you do. 
but what, what it always works. What did we do the next night? They Hung strapped out. the chairs down. Yeah, yeah. Everything. We went <laughs> right under the chairs and grabbed two chairs. Right it sounds like. <laughs> right to the dance floor with the chairs. It sounds like we're going to try hey, to what do we do? off the train car. Hey, shot glasses up to here. I took half, he took half. I mean, it's, it's, it's a house for the fishies. So, yeah, so I think the, the train trip should be. Like I said, it sounds like we're throwing something off a train car. I mean, we have to. We have to. <laughs> Are we getting on top of the train car? I'm really big about throwing. Oh, down. no. Don't. No, no. That's. Who's getting, who, who's getting drunk enough to get on top of the train car? I'm worried that someone's going to get drunk like, enough to fall. It would be like some uncharted type shit. Like, we'll be looking for, yeah. you know? Some video game type shit, for sure. You go, you Subway surface. <laughs> It's a subway service. I'm down with that. I mean, I never jump from car to car, but oh, I'll do it. Fuck that. I'm going to set up the itinerary. After that, teach his own. Like, what you do after that? What happens on the train you. car stays on the train you. car. <laughs> That's horrible idea. Oh, shit. I got to convince Angel to let me do this. Yeah, that sounds like something off. I have to do. <laughs> I think that's about going to wrap it up here for the night, though. I appreciate, uh, appreciate everybody that has Appreciate y'all uh, watching. You know, hopping in and everything. Um, we will catch y'all next week. For Before we one. leave, though, I gotta talk about this bad ratio. We got we got views on this shit. Why the fuck y'all ain't liking and subscribing? What's going on the here? Fuck? Ratio all bad. I thought we were doing okay. Do that. It's right down there. Do it. Hey, I mean, do it. Push the button. Look, you can't even see me. Push the button. Look, I was gonna say that earlier, bro. Shalimar came to say what's up. <laughs> We all think about this. I, I say, like anybody, I mean, the train's open to the public, right? Pretty soon, I'll get the details for the entire trip. Anybody who wants to buy a ticket on the Savages Last Man Standing tour, grab your ticket when I give out the information. We do a big, giant group. We'll take up two, three cars. Who cares? Let's do it. Let's and do it. Anybody who wants to grab a ticket. For it. If you can, right if now, you can so hook up a mic to a speaker, we can even what do a performance. Can we get that? I'll take care of that. That'll be announced on further okay. podcast. TDD. You're interested TDD. in doing this. This is what's going down next month. Let's do it. No bullshit. You already heard it. You heard it from <laughs> himself. We'll catch you guys next week. Y'all have a good one. Bye, Peace. bitches. The after party. No, honestly.